subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for new uploaded videos. Today's review is sponsored by Sister Wigs. Hi there, wig lovers. Not sure where to start your search? Try Heather's personal picks at Sister Wigs. I just want to come on today because I want to show you how I cover and protect uh, my canvas head. Um, these canvas heads come in so handy uh, for many of us that uh, like to make wigs or we just want to put one of our wigs on it uh, to style it. They are so helpful and so uh, convenient. And so um, I just want to show you how you can make your canvas head last a little by covering it and protecting it because we do a lot of coloring and stuff when we're making our wigs. And uh, this is going to be a quick and easy tip uh, for you guys okay and everything is not exact uh, you do what works for you but I'm gonna show you what works for me okay so keep watching we're gonna use this plastic bag that came with the canvas head to cover the canvas and then we're going to put on this nylon stocking which is beige and then we're going to put on um, a black tight so we're going to use the plastic bag, a beige stocking, and black tights. We cut a hole in them so it's, you know, it's going to be real easy to pull it down on the canvas head. Now this uh, uh, plastic bag is going to cover the canvas head uh, from any coloring or dyeing that I may do to make a wig uh, and to protect it. So we're going to put that nylon stocking on beige that I've been using for a while. I'll tell you, I've been using this one for a long time. But, uh, and we just pull it down on the canvas head. Until you can no longer, you know, pull it down. It's tight, it's, you know, it's there. And the part that's sticking out, what we're gonna do is just tuck that inside and yeah just like that now we're going to put the black tights on top of the beige stocking and i do that because i like to um concentrate on my unit's parting area and when I put the uh, beige uh, stocking at the top, it gives me that option to work with my units uh, to add powder or concealer uh, to my parting area. Uh, and uh, at the bottom, all I do is just roll up the uh, black tight, and there she goes. And then I put my wig on, and you see the top of it? That's what I'm talking about. That gives me that option to um, add my powder or concealer to that parting area looks really nice right now this beauty is from uh, sister wigs this is a uh, biscotti babe now she's from Belle Tress. she's in a color sugar cookie with hazel nut and uh, I will place uh, the link to my review of this beauty uh, down in my description box but I was just showing you how nice it is to have a canvas head to style uh, your wigs on and uh, I have her pent down with a T-pin and she's not going anywhere uh, it gives you that option to have freedom uh, to style your unit as you please right she is gorgeous loving this one <laughs> yeah so that's how I uh, protect uh, my canvas head so I hope that works for you. And uh, yeah, I thank you so much for watching uh, my little tip on how to cover and protect your canvas head.
This is a professional canvas block uh, and I ordered mine from Sister Wigs. I'll place the link down in my description box, okay, so that you can click on it if you're interested in a canvas block. Now, they come in a variety of sizes. She also carries the uh, large and the extra large. Now, I just wanna make a notation here. Uh, make sure that you get the correct size that you want because they are non-returnable, okay? Once you have ordered this canvas block, it is yours, okay? Let me tell you a little bit about Sister Wig's customer service. Awesome, just totally awesome. Uh, once you make your order, then you get a respond back and they constantly in touch with you to make sure that your order is completed and that you are satisfied. Love their customer service. I'll tell you, thumbs up. Thank you so much, Sister Wigs, for all that you do. Okay.